Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you're all doing well and hopefully you can't hear that biblical storm that's going on on the roof of my studio. Either way, I'm going to edit some music on this video, so hopefully that will cover up the sound. <laughs> right, today's video is all about Frank Lampard's Chelsea centre-back pairing. Yep, a big talking point this season. Who is Frank Lampard going to select as his starting two centre-backs in his back four system? But before we do get into the video, as per usual, I'd like to request that you do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications icon to keep locked to my channel and I upload every single day listen to this rain listen am I going to die anyway let's just get back to the video and talk about football so what are the options uh, I want to say for the sake of this video I'm gonna leave out for Kaya Tamori now he's a very good player and he played very well under Frank Lampard last season at Derby on loan but he's the sort of the fifth centre back for me and I feel like he could really benefit from going out on loan and he'd have too much stiff competition with the quality at Chelsea at the moment. So he's not going to be in this comparison. So that leaves us with the following four. Kurt Zuma, the 24 year old French international who was on loan at Everton last season and did rather well. David Luiz, the 32 year old Brazilian who's an extremely experienced Chelsea defender. Bit of a legend and very skillful. Andreas is Christensen, the 23-year-old Danish international who joined Chelsea's academy as a teenager and went on loan to Gladbach. He's got a bunch of experience. And Antonio Rudiger, the 26-year-old German international. Now, currently Rudiger is injured, but I'm involving him in this comparison because hopefully he'll be back on the team for not that long and really this is about Frank Lampard's centre-back pairing moving forwards. So I'm keeping him involved for this video. I am going to express my own thoughts and opinions on the players and who I think should be playing for Frank this season but before that we're going to do a statistical comparison of certain metrics to see how they compare to each other. So on that let's take a look at the numbers. Starting with arguably the most important metric for a defender, tackles and interceptions. Antonio Rudiger made two tackles and interceptions per game last season. David Luiz made 2.1 tackles and interceptions last season. Andreas Christensen made 1.8 tackles and interceptions. Big Kurt Zuma was making 2.7 tackles and interceptions per game last season. So when it comes down to the downright defensive dirty work, yes that is superb alliteration from me. Zuma wins. Now it's important to note that he was on loan at Everton and they would have had to do more defending than Chelsea probably because they play without the ball more but regardless don't take away from Zuma that he's incredibly good defensively and he's putting in the graft. So let's talk about some offensive metrics. I've left out goals and assists just for this because I want to talk about a couple of other stats. So we're going to be looking at shots per game and key passes. So this kind of the intent of the centre back of getting involved offensively. Starting with shots per game. Antonio Rudiger took 0.8 shots per game last season. David Luiz took 0.9 shots per game last season. Andreas Christensen only took 0.4 shots per game last season and big Kurt Zuma took 0.6 shots per game last season so Rudy and Louise are the two players who take responsibility the most out of the four and bang a shot every game or near enough. Key passes. Now this is not very rock and roll for these guys. Rudiger made 0.2 key passes per game last season. David Luiz made 0.6 which isn't too bad. Andreas Christensen made 0.1 which is bad <laughs> and Kurt Zuma made 0.2 which is also pretty bad. <laughs> Unsurprisingly the only real contributor to key passes was uh, David Luiz and this is I guess we expect this from the sort of creative Brazilian footballer. Even though he's a centre back, he does try and look up, get his head up, and make that creative key pass to help the offensive players. Obviously, this metric is not vital for a centre back, but the odd key pass can really help change the tide of a game. And let's stay on passing because passing certainly is a very important attribute for the modern day footballer and that includes centre back. So let's look at some passing accuracy. Starting with Antonio Rudiger, last season Rudy managed to maintain a 91.5% passing accuracy 
Wow. I mean, wow. I don't know, I can't sound excited, but it's a very good <laughs> average. David Louise maintained an 88% passing accuracy average. Passing average accurate. Passing, yeah, passing accuracy average. I'll stick with that. 88% is actually very good. Here's the one that shocked me a little bit. Andreas Christensen averaged a 93% passing accuracy for Chelsea last season when he played, which is near immaculate. And big Kurt Zuma maintained an 83.6 passing accuracy last season at Everton, which is pretty good considering the side he was playing in and the type of offensive play they would have had to endure and playing without the ball, etc, etc. So, you know, if Zuma comes back to Chelsea now and plays all season, expect that passing accuracy to go even higher. Right, let's look at some long ball statistics. Last season Antonio Rudiger averaged 4.5 accurate long balls per game. David Luiz averaged 6 long balls per game. Very good. Andreas Christensen only managed 3.1 long balls per game. And quite similar, Kurt Zuma only managed 3.2 long balls per game. It's unsurprising again that David Luiz wins in this statistic. The skillful footballing, Brazilian footballer, loads of accurate diagonal long balls. I mean, world football by now is used to David Luiz's Hollywood long balls, so very impressive from the Brazilian. But I tell you what, Rudiger at 4.5 is pretty tasty, and you marriage that with his near immaculate passing accuracy, the fact how he wants to play long diagonals, but he's just constantly accurate all the time with his passing, is, you know, pretty alluring for the coach to pick him. Anyway, that is enough of the numbers for the moment. So where does that leave us? Well, for me, I need to start by saying I feel personally that Andreas Christensen is the weakest link here. Right then, so Andreas Christensen obviously has excellent pass accuracy, and I recognise that. You can definitely see why Borussia Mönchengladbach played him in midfield when he was loaned there by Chelsea. And you could also understand why Antonio Conte deployed him as a sweeper uh, in a back three in his system and why he excelled there as well. But in Frank Lampard's conventional back four with a two centre back system, I feel like he hasn't got enough to make the cut in comparison to the other three. So sadly for me, Andreas Christensen didn't make the cut. So who does make the cut? Well, straight up, I've got to say it, Kurt Zuma makes the cut. The other two are quite similar in terms of their good ability on the ball, part, both have a high pass accuracy and both can play good long balls. The way Chelsea are going to play this season under Frank Lampard is very direct and often with a lot of risk. So you need the last line of defence, the last man in defence to be someone who's dogged, savvy and very good at tackles and interceptions. For me, that's Kurt Zuma. He needs to be the last line of defence. His partner can sort of look forward a little bit and look to do long passes, but we need Kurt Zuma being that last centre back. And you know, the guy that's good in both boxes it has to be Kurt for me. So who does Kurt Zuma partner with? Rudiger or Louise? Well, the obvious thing to note is Rudiger is currently injured, so it should start as David Louise. David Louise is a very good footballer. He's a good centre back, but he's a very, very good footballer. Obviously he played with Frank Lampard at Chelsea as well. They won the Champions League together in that final, so he will trust him. He's a leader on the pitch and he'll be an important figure for Chelsea. But David Louise is comfortably into his 30s now, and you know, Antonio Rudiger's in his prime and he's got loads of good positive attributes and he's got a great skill set in terms of being a modern centre-back. So don't be surprised if Rudiger takes the starting spot off Louise before perhaps the end of the season provided he is fit. So ultimately my first choice are Zuma and Rudiger but until Rudiger's injury is better it has to be Louise and I have no problem with that because Louise sort of fits the bill stylistically anyway in terms of a positive partnership of the two. But the final partnership of Rudiger and Zuma would be excellent defensively and have enough in them both to do good distribution. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you agree with my centre-back partnership? Do you agree with what I've said about all the players? Let me know in the comments below. Tell me your centre-back partnership uh, beginning of the season and the end of the season. Do you think I should have included Tamori? Let me know. Obviously, I'd like to request that you like the video also if you've enjoyed today's content. Right, guys, I want to say a big thank you for helping me reach 9,000 subscribers. I'm over the moon that I've got so many subscribers so early in my sort of YouTube journey. Ugh. Anyway, thanks to everyone who subscribed. If you want to support the channel, you can become a patron to my Patreon and gain access to exclusive content like Q&As where I answer your questions directly in videos only available for patrons. It costs $1 a month. I'll put the link down in the description as usual and also make sure you do follow me on social media at 
football Yannick on Twitter and Instagram. Sod's law, I finished the video and the rain stops, man. Anyway, guys, I really do hope you've enjoyed the video. Enjoy the football and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby